Qatar responds to a tragic bus accident in Egypt. And the Muslim world is in uproar after an Israeli journalist snuck into Mecca. Good news for Qatari passport holders with an itch for travel. And finally, more reinforcements for the World Cup here in Qatar as South Korea announces its role in security. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani has reached out to Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi following a devastating bus accident in Egypt. The tragic incident claimed 23 lives, with dozens more hospitalized in the country's Minya governorate. The public bus, which was carrying dozens of passengers at the time, crashed into a truck that was parked along its route. The Emir sent his condolences and wished a speedy recovery for the injured. Now, an Israeli journalist from Israel's Channel 13 has defied a long standing ban on the entrance of non Muslims to Islam's holiest city. Mecca. The journalist Gil Tamari proudly filmed footage while driving around significant landmarks in Mecca, including two of Islam's most important sites, the Grand Mosque and Mount Arafat. This has been heavily criticized by Muslims around the world, with many calling for Tamari to be jailed and face strict consequences for his actions. In response, Channel 13 apologized for the offense caused, but stood by its report. Now, Qatar's passport has moved up a few spots in the global passport ranking, jumping up three spots from 60th to 57th. The Qatari passport boasts a visa-free and visa-on-arrival score of 99, according to the latest released reports. Qatar's highest ever ranking came in 2020, where the passport was ranked in 54th place. Earlier this year, the first ever global passport index ranked Qatar in the top 10 passports in terms of investment. And finally, military police officers from South Korea will be heading over to Qatar at the end of July to train and pass on their expertise just a few months before the FIFA World Cup kicks off. The officers, trained in maintaining public order and combating terrorism, will be tanked with training Qatar's military police. This comes as multiple countries have readied police and security personnel to head to Qatar to ensure the safest FIFA World Cup in history. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.